So, let's see what happens. <laughs> what the fuck is Xeron? We're gonna find out. That might be. No, probably not though. No, 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 no. Marius again. Okay. The garrisons I should probably try to attack and destroy. Just for funsies. Anyway, uh, reinforcements. Gimme, 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 gimme. Not that I particularly need them, but you never know, I mean. When I come across Xiron, he might just be completely fucking broken, good, overpowered bullshit. <laughs> Technical term. Um, okay. Broken, good, overpowered bullshit. Okay. Those units are, you know, they might be worth handing off. I don't think I really want to wait for them though. Okay, so we're gonna go to Fyadon. There we go. We're gonna, we're gonna grab a whole bunch of these firebirds. It's gonna be fun times, let me tell you. Okay, and then what's uh, Rain Tarina? <laughs> Interesting town names. I wonder where they're from. Like some of them have, uh, I would think, historical inspirations, but some of them, I don't know where the fuck they're from. Might be interesting to find out. Almost recruited everyone. Almost. Not really, though. Sad. Oh well. Let's see. So next is Tormentalis. Wait a minute. Can I... First of all, do I need to worry about Marius? I don't really need to worry about Marius. I mean, he'd have to go all the way around here or all the way around here. So... Tormentalis it is. Dimension door. Yeah, I'm not too concerned about this. Done. Nice level 25. Let's do one of this. Then I think I'm gonna just fly on over. Let's see, Xiron, so that is Xiron. Okay, finally we found the fucker. Visions. I could I could I could destroy him right now. Even though you see his stats, that's because I trained him. You know, I'm I'm half proud, but I'm still gonna kill his ass. Um, 34 phoenixes against his 5 devils, yeah, I'm gonna wreck his face, uh, even though his stats are awesome, awesome, I mean, if I wouldn't have those two artifacts, those two angelic artifacts, he would have better stats than me, but then again, he is wielding Armageddon's Blade, which gives him huge bonuses. I could probably kill Syra just for funsies, <laughs> and I think I will. I think I will. Just for funsies. Just to instill a little fear in him. Uh, then I'm going to try and dimension door. Yeah, nice. So he doesn't catch me. 
<laughs> doesn't force an engagement before I'm ready to end the scenario. Not that I'm worried about losing at this point. And turn. Okay. How much? Quite a ways to go, honestly. those I can keep those for now I can keep that for now that's no no ho okay mm -hmm. keep that keep that okay hmm Visited in Crucible. Okay. No. Xiron has wild, wi <laughs> wisely elected to go back in town and cower in fear. Six and seven, seven, eight. Which one of these do I think I should kill? I might actually not be able to kill this entire stack, which is interesting. In fact, two fifty. You know what I'll do I'll do a slow. And then I'm gonna wait. Help them with arrows. Now this is surprisingly super mega effective. Wait, wait. That's the safest option. And with the slow it doesn't matter that they got a morale proc. I was actually expecting that. Because I'm really awesome. <laughs> uh, okay, and lots of EXPs for me. Not enough to level though. I'm just gonna grab everything inside this uh, inner sanctum of his. Hopefully, he's not gonna force an engagement, but I don't think he has. Well, actually, he might because he might have Dimension Door. Um, Hopefully he won't though, because I don't want to end the scenario just yet. Even though it probably wouldn't make a, any any difference at all. At all. Okay, and turn. Okay, I'm gonna have to bring uh, some hero back to defend against that. Probably just gonna go in there with uh, Roland, I would guess. Let's see. You can wear these for now. I wonder if he has enough movement points to do that and also go back and defend. You know what? I'd like to think that he does. Start combat. Wait, wait, wait. Meh. And what I'll proc. No? Okay, good. There we go. And you go back to Shadow Day. Okay. Forsaken Palace. Yes, I would love to steal this from under your nose. How did you guess? Cool. 
And Catherine... No, she can visit this for one. Does she have any units? Oh, she does. Cool. Um, yeah, let's visit that. <clears throat> gonna focus on uh, Roland and Angelo. Not that they have anything against Catherine, especially except her specialty sucks as much as Roland's does. She has better stats, better base stats, I would say. But um, diplomacy and estates, yeah, no, don't really like that. Okay. So, Marius, I think we can kill you. Then again, we might not. I think the the imps might be faster than what I have. Eh, we'll find out. Oh, seven, eight. And eight. Blerg. Well, we're gonna find out the fucking hard way, aren't we? <laughs> eh. Indeedy do we are I'm going to find out the fucking hard way. There we go, start combat. Okay, cool. Um, let's see, so what do I want to do? 30, 5 and 6, 6. Okay, I think a haste would be in order. Not entirely sure if that's the best course of action entirely, but eh. Good enough for me. And yeah, I should have moved these guys forward. I'm probably not going to be able to kill the, these gargoyles as it is, but yeah, yeah, fuck you. Who cares? There we go. Should have moved the pikemen forward to supplement the damage. Too late. Who cares? Let's see. M crucible shadow then. Just go back to actually. I'm just. And oh come on! Okay, there we go. And another one. Meh. Oh no! I am under attack. Whatever shall I do? Megalox suck, by the way. In case you haven't noticed yet. doesn't have she doesn't even have mass haste so that's kind of sad uh, let's do a lightning bolt on her cause reasons there we go six and seven six how far uh, okay cool Meh. I thought they were, that was the wait round. That was weird. Maybe they moved forward and then waited? Why would they do that though? Mm -hmm. Strange. When we, eh, whatever, fuck it, I don't care. <laughs> it's certainly not important. Maybe they were hap they were seven speed. Never even checked. Whatever. Okay, uh, a throng of familiars, I could probably take that. Oh no! Yeah, I have the f a feeling that that's the way it works. If you're higher on the map, then you go first with the same speed. Wait, what? No, the, oh, it hit, waited. Okay, okay. <laughs> Disregard what I just said. Um, we're gonna do a haste on you. And then you're gonna fuck these people over. There we go. 
And that's that. A throng of gogs. I, I'm not really comfortable with that, but we're gonna try it. Oh, uh, 169 gogs. Not really, but I'm really not gonna need that money anyway, so what the fuck ever. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Yeah, I know, I'm recruiting, recruiting shitty troops, but she has a lot of those, so sure, whatever. Kind of funny though, more than anything. Let's do a little bit of a fly action. Okay. Yeah. This should answer. There is no way Xeron is gonna defeat me at this point. Right, look at that. <laughs> they recruited Marius again. Eh. Okay, Monsieur Roland. Visited, visited. visited yet, but we will take care of that right now. Ha <laughs> ha. And if I am not careful, I can just get... <laughs> I was gonna say something not entirely okay. I can get uh, clobbered in the face. So let's move you out of there. Actually, can I do a town portal? Nah, balls. Oh, well. I probably should have. So, attack. 250, 50. I think we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna do a slow. We're gonna wait with you. Murder the stack. And that's gonna be it. So, I don't know if I really want to visit every one of those plus 1000 DXP structures. Necessarily. I might. So this is where we decide on some things. Uh, what else do we want to do before we end the map? Like, this is pretty fucking fast. Week 3 and I probably could have won week 2. It's all in the preparation. Um, mm -hmm. Do I want to get all the plus 1000 EXP learning stones or do I not care? I think the correct answer is I don't care. However, I want to get every other stat enhancing structure on the map. Most definitely. Which means we're going to start checking by areas. How can I split areas? I'm going to split areas. So, below these two towns is one area, let's see. So, no obelisks, don't really care unless I'm really close to them, in which case I will get them. Um, nothing around here. Nothing in hometown territory. Let's see. We haven't visited that. I should visit it. Yeah, yeah, got that. Need to get that one. While I'm there, while I'm there, while I'm there. So definitely a little bit in this corner. Like so. Visited, visited, uh, visited. Visited, visited. So that's gonna be... 
So everything south of these two towns, this one and this one on the mini map, if you can see them, is already collected with Jellu, uh, other than this area right here, which I'm going to go and visit right now. Need to town portal to Shadow Den and rest for a day though to get my mana back. Okay, and that's gonna be that. Mm -hmm. Roland stood to address his troops. Marching back and forth across the makeshift stage he had set up expressly for this purpose. The need for a morale boost became an almost tangible feeling. Why is that? For tensions were high and some infighting had taken place. We want to win now! No, we should prepare for the next victory! But we want to win now! No major injuries reported, but there were some incidents. He needed to do something quickly to rally the troops. Lo, these many months we have pressed onward, trudging through the bleak, desolate regions of this accursed land. The time has come where again we are the ones on the attack. Our enemy is in sight, and the opportunity has arisen to deliver a crushing blow to these twisted freaks. That's not nice, man. As you all know, I was held captive by these animals for many years, so I know of which I speak when I say we cannot allow these things to exist any longer in our world. They must be excised from the face of Antagaric like the boil they are. To that end, I need you, your strength, your courage. We must press forward on to Krila and, to ob and obliterate these monsters once and for all. Send them back to hell. There shall be no quarter, no survivors. The crowd's cheers bring Roland's speech of genocide <laughs> to a rousing close. <laughs> Upon leaving the stage, Roland is nearly, near visibly shaking, the rage in his heart on the surface at last, bringing with it a cloud to his once sparkling eyes. A dark cloud showing the damage done to his soul. Captivity has marred his spirit, such that nothing short of total victory can bring him peace. The Kriegans must pay for what they have done to him, regardless of the cost to him and his immortal soul. Recruit Zimps. Oh, no, no room for Zimps. Oh well, too, too bad, who cares. Okay, let's see. Um, we're gonna do a dimension door. We're gonna do a little bit of a flying action over here. And some more dimension dooring. Oh, Use that my movement point. Okay. So, what am I doing with Roland? And he has to rest anyway, so whatever. I'm just gonna bring him in here. Sure. Um, you, my dear, are going to chaotically visit these things. Let's wait with everyone. Okay, pretty straightforward if I do say so myself. So most important to visit all these structures with Roland and with Jello, but I really want to visit them with um, Catherine as well if possible. Even though I probably shouldn't. 
way too much spell power by this point. I need, I need, I, I'm starting to need knowledge more, much more than spell power. But hey. Okay, so nothing uh, south of the two towns. So let's do east. Oh, no, let's do west of this town and north of this town. Okay, let's see. So let's see. We have that visited. That's a loose resource. Nobody cares. Whatever. Uh, visited. The oh, I haven't? Really? I was right there. Huh. Okay. Uh, visited that. I need those three scholars. By the way, did I, did I account for all these scholars? Okay. Yeah, I accounted for all the scholars. Okay, so that, these three scholars and the Afrit pit. That, that, wow, that's a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pretty much everything in this corner I need to visit with Chero. So, Xiron again, <laughs> outside. I could probably go here, do dimension door, dimension door, grab that, dimension door, uh, yeah, so on. Okay, um, Tormentaris. Roland. I think we're gonna have the same criteria for Roland, so I'm gonna check everything south of the um, uh, two towns. Nothing especially of note here. I have not visited that uh, star axis. Visited that, visited that. Oh, by the way, did I is it that there with yeah I did I think yeah, yeah, yeah uh, that should be it okay hmm is it that 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 as well that as well yep yep okay now let's do west so I need this thing with Roland. I need probably that, yeah. Let's see. That, that, that as well. Did I visit that with Jello? Yes. So let's do a shadow then. Oh, balls. Good thing I didn't accidentally cast it. Shadow then. Let's do. I think I'm gonna do a, a fly. I'm gonna do dimension door. And another one to conserve uh, points. Not visited, huh? And another dimension door over here. Okay. Start with um, <coughs> our maintenance heroes. There we go. Then Jello. Let's do fly. That should be. Look. 
good. Nice. Okay, same deal for Catherine, I guess. So, other than that star axis right there, there's pretty much nothing in this corner. She kind of needs to collect a little bit of army and fight off Aiden, maybe. She hasn't really visited many structures at all. So I'm thinking I'm just gonna port her over to Shadow then. Yeah. She's gonna need to wait there for a while to recover her spell points anyway. And. You know what? I'm gonna leave you here. We're gonna do something like that. That's a lot of extra heroes. Alrighty. collect this? No. Okay. I'm gonna have to reevaluate soon. Let's see, so the enemy hero is there. Do I have dimension door on her? I do, but I think I can only cast it once. Can I take him? Uh, presumably. <laughs> Okay. Fuck you. Okay, let's see. There we go. Ah, <clears throat> balls, I can't... Uh, I need to walk him. Fuck! What I can't... Mm. No, I need to walk him over to a town. That's gonna take a while. Balls. So again, most important to uh, finish up Jello and Roland, because Catherine is sadly not the best lineup right now. Okay, port to Xent A. I visited that. I don't really care about you, but I might actually. Then I'm gonna have to go down and collect some stuff in this area, like here ish. Oh, 
we can come from over here. Now I'm gonna go for Xanta. That's completely unfair. <laughs> A small supply wagon shows up with a note proclaiming uh, this wagon uh, is a gift from a friend. Upon reading this note, you smile and allow your thoughts to drift back to Stedwick and an old friend. Hmm. I wonder which friend that would be. <laughs> I don't have friends. <laughs> uh, that is way too close to Xeron for comfort, so... Uh, I mean... Good. I think I have enough to get over there and portal away. This is gonna be really bad if I can't, so... Okay, I can't, so I will. <laughs> I definitely will. Okay. I think I need to defend one of my towns. Uh, where are the enemy heroes? Oh, I forgot to recapture that. Balls. Mm. Eh, okay. No, uh, not under threat anywhere. Okay. Need to go there. He's gonna have to rest there. Mm -hmm. Wow, got all the phoenixes. Yeah. Okay, did get all the phoenixes. It has way more army than they can probably deal with. Alrighty. So let's see. Um, I need to collect that little thing. Though not necessarily. Uh, definitely this scholar and uh, this mercenary camp. 
where do I go for that? I can go here. Ah, yeah, I can totally do that. Send a. Uh, I'm just gonna go a little bit outside, like so. And then you can give me some artifacts as well, like so. I don't really think I need the extra morale on either of these heroes, but meh. Sure. That, those stats are so fucking broken. That is one reason why I don't really like Heroes of Might and Magic 4 so far. Um, from what I've retried of it, it you, you really can't get broken heroes that easily. <laughs> well, maybe you can. But not skills wise. It's weird. Maybe we'll get to, into that eventually. Right. So. Oh no, I am fighting Zims. 63 fucking phoenixes. Jeez. On week 4. Wow. Seriously? Wow. Okay. So uh, I need to make sure that I have everything with uh, Jelu, then I'm gonna make sure that I have everything with uh, Roland. Then I'm gonna see if I can push them, either of them over the level, over the edge of the next level, and uh, wrap up with um, Catherine as well. Wow! Really? There we go, so that's... See, it, it would have auto-passed me like, oh, wait a minute! I'm way too used to people with Dimension Door and so on. But she has Dimension Door too, so... There we go. Dimension Door. So let's see. No, no recruitment, but... I will do a Dimension Door over... Huh? Visited, okay. So let's see, do I have everything with Jelu? I should probably attack these garrisons, I would say. Yeah, definitely. Oh, and Nymus is in range to be a threat. Nymus, Nymus, Nymus. You know what, we're gonna take care of that with Roland. So where? Shadow then. We're gonna get either one Efreet or one Archdevil. I think we're gonna settle on one Efreet Sultan. There we go. Maybe we can give you 20. <laughs> because they're awesome. Okay, then we're gonna do a Dimension Door. Speed 6 and 7, 8. Okay, we're gonna do this and this straightforward. Start combat, you're dead, and then you're dead, and that's it. Oh, well, even easier. We're gonna grab an extra ammo cart. Because <laughs> I'm greedy. <laughs> okay, cool. And that's out of the way now. So. Uh, I need the, the garrisons. Not necessarily need, need, but you know, I'm gonna get some extra EXP from that. Okay, 20. Yeah, yeah, I can handle this. Definitely. Imagine how difficult this would have been, and 
Okay, so the pixies went first even though... Oh, 9 and 10? Ah, because it's a nat native terrain. Okay, so the theory is still, in, uh, is still valid. But can you imagine how difficult this would have been without Town Portal, uh, Advanced Earth Magic, and or Dimension Door? I would have had to go through these garrisons before being able to join up with any of my other armies. Meanwhile, the enemy would have had one, two, three, four, five towns in the middle to recruit from all the while, so that would have been difficult. But thanks to my planning, <laughs> and 40k to next level, so probably not going to get that. So I might even consider uh, leaving that last garrison for Roland. Yeah, you know, he would probably level from that. He would probably level from that. Uh, but he would have to either get some army from uh, Jellu or we'll see anyway so um stat boosting structures for jello nothing around here don't really care about the learning stones no 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 nothing let's see not what garden of revelation ha really what what really wow Okay. Uh, Mercenary camp. Didn't visit the Garden of Revelation. That one, I mean, specifically. Visited that. Oh, I'm gonna. I think I haven't. No, I think I have visited that with Roland. Okay. Visited you. Visited you. Visited you. 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 Visited you, visited you, you. Okay, visited you. Absolutely nothing there. Visited you, visited you, 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 and you. Visited you, visited you. You. So he's visited everything except that one Garden of Knowledge. Uh, it looks like... yeah. What are his base stats, by the way? <laughs> Let's have a, a little bit of a giggle. Holy fucking shit, man. <laughs> 32, 25, 43 fucking power. I went way overboard with that one. And boosted... That's gonna be even more insane. 45, 42, 56, 31. So yeah, that's that's a lot. That is a lot. Okay, so he needs to visit uh, this here Garden of Knowledge. Uh, where the fuck is he? Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's not too far away. You might. I don't know if I have enough dimension door, so, so I might consider not until next turn, so I think I won't until next turn. Um, let's see. We have a Roland as well, so visited. 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 Um, visited. 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 I, I bet he hasn't. Oh, visited. Visited as well. Huh. Interesting. Okay, visited that. Absolutely nothing in this corner. Yara yara. Visited. Um, <laughs> I have to check if Jero visited that too. Yeah. Uh, visited. 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 Visited, 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 uh, yeah. not visited, okay, so that mercenary camp right there, yeah, okay, so that mercenary camp right there, so I'm gonna go to Shanimar, See if I can recruit anything into my army. 
I might, you know what, I'm gonna grab these. Okay, it should. Let's do a visions, see if that's enough to handle the garrison. It should be enough. I mean, with his immensely powerful stats, like it should be enough. Oh, I've, I think I've, yeah, I've, I've forgotten to collect the magic land then, haven't I? Oh well, I'm too late now. Um, and that's why I keep uh, collecting units even after the point at which I know they're gonna be super important because I, I need to keep in practice, need to remember to get this stuff for when it does count. Um, okay. Dimension door. Wait, let's just do a town portal. Two, I don't even know. I'll do one, two, fire done. And probably we're gonna recruit some more of these thingies. Buff up for the coming battle. Lastly, we're gonna figure out if there's any point in uh, trying to buff um, our dear Catherine over here. Let's go to Shadow then. Probably not, sadly. She just doesn't have the skills. Uh, <laughs> sounds kind of silly, but yeah, that's that's kind of the way it is. Okay, let's kill Xeni. Uh, sure, we can be a little bit greedy. Thanks for all the EXPs. is in there. We have Marius over yonder. Let's see. Rain Tarina. Should be enough. Okay. Shamar. This should level him up nicely. So we have 13, 14, 13, 14, 6, 8. I mean, if he moves first, I mean, deep shit. <laughs> um, 6 and 7, 5 and 6. So I'm just gonna go fall out. I think they fly. They should fly. Yeah. There we go. So start combat. I'm gonna do a haste. Even though I might have you know benefited more from uh, something else actually, considering. Thirteen. Yeah, let's do an attack on the Efreet. Efreet on Efreet action. That's gonna be bloody. Yeah. One, only one Afrit Sultan died for me because of my awesome stats. Mm -hmm. Okay, six and seven. Yeah, we're gonna do this. State forward. I love the movement animation and the attack animation and all the animations for the energy elementals, but too bad they're, they're I don't think their stats are that awesome, are they? Uh, nah. Their special abilities certainly aren't. So, yeah, that's good. He didn't level? Oh, about a thousand left. Okay, let's see if I can sacrifice some artifacts for a level. Definitely. Oh, I have a duplicate. Nice. So, let's do that. 25. Attack skill plus one. Very good. Okay, so he has is level 25, Jill is level 26, and Catherine is sadly only level 19. Okay, we only need to kill... Um, what's his face? Uh, Xiron, so I don't actually need to go and engage Marius. So, um, let's see. Is it, do you think it's worth it to go for more boosts on Catherine? 
honestly and overall it probably is but especially considering what suspicions I have for what's gonna happen but uh, I think we can do without Let's see just how much we're missing and how easy it would be to get, if at all. If it's super, super easy, I might take a couple of extra days, so not visited. Um, that's gonna be a day. Extra defense visited. Visited, visited. Visited. No, uh, visited. Okay, not visited. Not visited. It'll only take a day or two, then sure, i probably do it. Visited. Visited. Let's actually check out all of my heroes I visited that structure because it's super good. So, visited. Okay. Visited. 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 You know what? She visited quite a lot of these structures, actually. I might not visited. Okay, so we have this. We have this, 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 uh, this, this. I think that she hasn't visited, so... It's one knowledge, one spell power, uh, two defense, two spell power. Okay, so I, maybe I should take the time. I probably will. Yeah, I think I will. And I will also take the time to recover some extra mana for Jello for my uh, future engagement. <laughs> um, let's see, how much mana do I have? 38. I think I can afford uh, a Chain Lightning to soften these troops up a little bit, make things a lot smoother. So let's just do one of these. There we go. And then I will do one of these, like so. Oh, really? Eh, eh whatever. And I think I'm going to rest at Tormentalis. Not going to bother with the free thingy because, meh. It's kind of already in the bag. So, Roland, I think Roland has visited everything, hasn't he? Uh, right? Right? I think that's what we determined, right? I don't think I'm, I'm, I think I'm kind of too lazy to go over them all again. What was the last one that I missed with Roland? Was it this one? I think that was it. Okay, so you just need to rest another turn. So, wait, Roland, can you town portal anywhere? Like Xenta, maybe. There we go. Serpent fly population doubles. Beware those serpent plies. Okay. The serpent plies. Ooh. So then I'm gonna grab this and, and uh, then I'm gonna get killed horribly because I can only uh, can only dimension door once, unless I plug the hole with uh, yours truly over here. Okay, so Roland uh, doesn't really need to do anything. Catherine, I think I can have this, 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 and then I'm gonna grab this. I need one day for that. Mm, maybe one, two. I'm gonna need like four days if I wanna grab all that stuff. I'm not sure I have the patience. 
Um, Marius is recruited again. Yeah. You know what? I'm gonna make my way over there and if he wants to force an engagement then uh, he can have it. Too bad, like Catherine doesn't have fly, doesn't he have much of anything fun. Okay, dimension door once per turn, that's all she can. Only once per turn, god damn. I think I'm just gonna grab uh, this, and then this, and then I'm gonna be done. Yeah. I'm, I know I'm gonna miss that, but I, I, don't, I don't really don't have the patience, I don't think. So, you are going to be dead, finally. There we go. My queen reports a page to you. You have a visitor. He is claiming he represents the conflux. You wave the boy to show the man in and off he goes to retrieve this visitor. He returns moments later with a tall slender man dressed in long robes, his face hidden behind an azure hood. The silver runic trim of the deep blue robes <coughs> excuse me, glimmers slightly diverting attention away from his withdrawn countenance. All that is visible of this mysterious man's face is his neatly trimmed black beard and strong lower jaw. Mm -hmm. He speaks in low tones, barely above a whisper, with a slight accent noticeable. Greetings, Catherine Ironfist of Enroth. I am called Tamar the Wanderer. I am a walker of the plains, a seeker of knowledge, a protector of lives worth saving. I am also the elemental lord of air. I come here this day to share with you a vision I have had. In this vision I saw possible futures, both of light and of shadow. You just passed a crossroads, Catherine, choosing the path of light. There are others loved ones and those trusted deeply who now face that same crossroad and done fucked up <clears throat> they are begging beginning to choose a path which may be divergent from yours it is not too late to alter their course they can be persuaded to return to the path carved in the sun as opposed to the one entrenched in the night choose wisely catherine for if you do not help those whom you love and trust i fear you will know much grief a flash of lightning rips across the stormy sky, and when your eyes clear from the momentary blindness, Tamar the Wanderer is no longer in your presence. The warnings of this so-called elemental lord stir in your mind and give you to pause. Could he have meant Roland? His pain and suffering might be getting the better of him. Perhaps you should speak to him about this war and its effect on his mind. You fear that he might slip away and let his need for revenge consume him. Uh, is almost overwhelming. What? Your your fear? Oh, your fear. That yeah. I thought you fear. Oh, whatever. You send a letter to Roland immediately. Dispatching the messenger brings a slight lift to your wounded soul and allows you to sleep, albeit not well. Well, okay. I might wait for the return of the missive. Yay! Spell power. Khaled, you're dead. Yes, it's uh, it's not a secret. You're you're just straight up dead. Um, straight up fucking murdered. <laughs> uh, okay. Thank you for the EXPs. 
And we're gonna end one more turn, see if we get a return message. No, no return message. Well, that sucks. Okay, can I do a town port, uh, uh, portal of some... Oh gosh, this is gonna take forever to get to that. Hmm. Okay, I'm, we're gonna take forever, we're gonna take forever and the safe route and see how that goes for us. Hopefully, they're not gonna completely bypass me. Okay, in turn, let's see if, I really wanna see if there's any return message, nope. No return message in time, so we're just gonna win, and that's gonna be that. I suppose that's the downside of winning fast. Yuck, 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 yuck. Okay, let's see. So, uh, a town battle, sadly, they have absolutely no fucking chance whatsoever, except they are going to cast Armageddon on me. If I give them the chance. So that might be a little bit difficult and or problematic. I think I'm gonna have to sacrifice some pixies on the towers first run for a haste. Otherwise though, uh, I think this is gonna be it. There we go. Oh, how lovely of you to bring out the troops. Yes, we're gonna sacrifice about 30 or so pixies, sprites, sorry. So... <clears throat> wow, th thank you, like... This is like, it feels like Christmas. Uh, <laughs> okay, so haste. Feels like Christmas, eight and nine, seven and eight. Six and seven, okay, you are dead. Well, close enough. Uh, I really don't want him to use Armageddon. Actually, you know what? I should have left that for my other ranged units. Shit. Um, let's see, can I maybe... I've stopped calculating the, the damage, but I think I can take... Oh my... Oh... oh. Oh, can can you reach the yeah you can reach the demons can you reach the magogs no so I'm gonna have to take the magogs good okay you can reach the demons though so that's gonna turn out okay oh my god fuck my life fuck my life he's gonna get to cast Armageddon this is not gonna be fun at all. Fine, I guess it's it's not no big deal, we're gonna win anyway. We're gonna win anyway, so I might as well see how much damage he can do with one Armageddon. It's gonna be epic. See. Oh my god. That's two two thousand seventy damage. Wow. That's a lot of damage. On the other hand, I'm a cheap ass motherfucker. So let's see how many troops we can resurrect with the amount of mana that we have. <laughs> let's see. So. <laughs> um, 80 sharpshooters. Yeah, I should have probably resurrected the pixies or something. Okay, resurrection. Another stack of sharpshooters. Oh fuck you, why are you spreading them out? Watch, they're gonna tag that one too. Fuckers. Yeah. All that, all that does is just delay the inevitable. So I can't resurrect any of the elementals though, so they're gonna be dead, uh, sadly, but uh, that's the prices you're gonna have to pay, I guess. Poor elementals, that's one of the reasons why I don't like playing Conflux, because you can't resurrect. 
So yeah, can't resurrect the elementals. I'm gonna resurrect all of the stupid marksmen though. Really no point at this juncture, but it's uh, better for my ego. It's really too bad. Like if if that, oh my god, I could have I could have done this without any losses, but so much time spent without playing heroes I might imagine to be uh, just two weeks actually I think kind of slipped because of it. Okay, one more turn and then we have killed Xiron. There we go. And now to kill my pixies with the fire breath attack. I know, I'm just gonna do this. Okay, so that's a lot of elementals I can't resurrect. <laughs> but as you can see, the Armageddon's blade, pretty threatening. Good thing we eliminated it, and now we're gonna get it. Plus three attack, plus three defense, plus six knowledge, plus three power. Places expert Armageddon spell in your hero's <clears throat> excuse me spellbook. All allied creatures become immune to Armageddon. Congratulations, you you have completed your quest to defeat the enemy X hero Xiron. Victory is yours. Uh, I forgot to think about it. If I could have um, maybe had an order of fire in that town, but uh, they they've been disabled for the entire uh, uh, scenario, so I didn't really think about it. Maybe would would have gotten an extra plus one power, but meh, whatever. End of campaign one, scenario seven. So let's see what is in store for the next one. Oblivion's Edge. You have 60 days for Jero to take Armageddon's blade to the Eofall capital of Krila before he, the forces of the dungeon overlords arrive to reinforce King Lucifer. If Jelu, Roland, or Catherine is lost, your war ends here. Difficulty? Impossible! Not really. The player starts with no resources and the computer plays to the best of its ability. We can choose 25 magic elementals, we can choose 75 sharpshooters, a good choice, or 10 phoenixes, also a good choice, especially because you get the uh, speed uh, advantage, which I keep talking about. Map says, the Kriegan race borders on extinction, yet remains defiant. King Lucifer has sent for aid from the overlords of Nyon. It is estimated that it shall take no more than 60 days for an army to arrive and reinforce the Kriegan king. The tide has turned as Catherine's army now has the blade and the irony of Lucifer's downfall under the blade he created to, to destroy the world has not escaped Catherine. She intends to bring the blade to hell itself if need be. So, with Jelu's broken motherfucking stats, with uh, Dimension Door and Expert Level Air Magic, with uh, Expert Level um, Earth Magic and Town Portal and Resurrection and everything else, this is probably gonna be a cakewalk, unless somehow King Lucifer turns out to be a huge gigantic motherfucking badass. Might happen. But we're gonna see, but with with the spell power that Jello has and Armageddon's Blade, I think he's gonna do maybe 3k damage with Armageddon, at least. We're gonna see next week, but he can basically wipe out the entire battlefield with just one spell. Um, so yeah, <laughs> gonna be fun times next week. Uh, thanks everyone for watching. Uh, hopefully back to normal Heroes of Mighty Magic 3 schedule next week, but uh, exams are going to be starting soon and I'm going to have to take uh, university more seriously. Uh, that in addition to the fact I play a lot of Marvel heroes nowadays. <laughs> so I don't know about everything else. We'll see. Okay, maybe I'll do a channel update or something at some point. Uh, thanks everyone. Bye-bye. See you next time.